seconds. So one, two, three. Oh damn. God damn, bass guy, you got bitches. Oh, damn. What's up everybody? So we're chilling in this beautiful nature. And this is about an interview I, I did with Lil B, because it came in Paris. And you know who Lil B is, you know, a 20 years old nigga. Uh, he, he like a legend, you know, he had like 155 My, MySpace pages with five to seven songs on them. That's how I started, that's a geek. It's like the geek of the geeks, you know, and the nigga got like ended in millions of views and he, all, he by himself. Technology definitely changed um, life and um, you know, I've also changed technology. You know, I've also uh, made history and, and, and gave you know, a pathway for artists. I mean, I just gave, uh, I gave people motivation. I gave, uh, I gave artists around the world, everybody, you know, just a, a, a breadth of motivation to say, well, I can actually do this. I gave, I gave people boundless, boundless boundaries, you know what I mean? And you can do anything. I show people you can do anything. So Lil B came in Paris, you know, all the hipsters, all the backpack motherfuckers was there enjoying the swag and the cooking dance. I saw, I saw, yeah, yeah. I still do respect a lot of skateboarders and, you know, just the skateboarding movement. So, you know, I seen them rocking bands a lot, you know, just the skateboarders and rebels and stuff. And I was just like, man, you know, like, that's something I want to rap about. You know, we should rap about that, you know, the bands too. And uh, that really ended up being something that represented, you know, me. That's why I haven't took off my $70,000 bands, you know, as you see right here. I haven't taken them off, you know, to make my first million. He a weirdo, everybody hates him on the comments. What he got, Puff Daddy, 50 Cent, Tony Yayo. Everybody saying the nigga right. Even, even, I don't know if, if Kanye said it was good. Maybe it did, who gives a fuck anyway? That's Lil B. Now everybody say swag, swag. Boop, boop, boop. He invented that shit. Did you invent the cooking dance? Yeah, I invented it, you know. I brought back swag, you know. I made swag how it is right now. You know, I mean, I made history with rapping, but yeah, you know, I did invent the cooking dance. I mean, uh, uh, most of these trends that are going on right now, like I said, cooking dance, swag, and just this whole rapping style that a lot of people are doing that, woo, that, woo, you know what I mean? That whole deal, you know, you hear a lot of rappers doing Just like Lil Wayne said, bling, man. Yeah, just like Lil Wayne said, bling, you know, I made up my own, you know, that's what I'm saying, like me and Wayne got a whole bunch of, you know, stuff in common, you know, we both came from groups, even though we both very different, and Wayne got a, Wayne on a whole nother level than me. You know, but it's the things that, you know, are in common with us, you know what I mean? You know, so he invented something. He a legend, you know? A low legend, though, low B, but... Uh, I remember, I thought it was so ugly and so whack, but something made me... made me stay on that YouTube pages. So, I listened to a lot of songs and that's... That's how I got caught up in that shit. It got a lot of songs. It got like a thousand songs, and this is real good. I like that shit. You know, it got all those weird songs. I'm God, I'm gay, pretty bitch. So I was like, what the fuck? But he got a real science behind that, you know? You know, really, uh, just um, when, I, when I said pretty bitch, it was just like, what is the best thing I can say about myself? Like the best ultimate feeling of like, how I feel about how I look, you know, because you know, a lot of guys might say they're fine and they get good, but I wanted to step that up and not just say, you know, okay, I'm a, I'm a pretty bitch and that, that that's how much I wanted to be like, man, I look this good. You know, something for uh, guys just, I hope, uh, to take and they can feel, you know, and not take it too far out of context, just be comfortable with yourself and, you know, be like, man, you know, I'm a pretty bitch, you know, that's how I look, you know, I look great, you know, and, and, and keep it like that, you know what I mean? Just, just trying to, do some GQ, you know, some real GQ, <laughs> you know, GQ style, you know what I mean? <laughs> At the end of the concert, he was there, you know, everybody was touching him. Not me, though, but everybody else did. I was with my nigga Sammy, but for me, <laughs> we did that shit, man, swag, you know, swag. Everything Hilton, Hotel Hilton, this I want a million, all times Hilton. It is a lot of beautiful 
people in here, a lot of beautiful women, a lot of beautiful guys, you know, and uh, no Pope, you know what I mean? It's just working, you know, so I love y'all to the death, to the core. Thank you, bass guy. Hey, hey, I love it. <laughs> <laughs> the bass guy don't look too well. Thank you. I stay off it. You all feel. All right. so, thank you, baby. Thank you, man. You good, baby. So you, you can check our shit out on YouTube. This is called Metek Plus One. Because, you know, we, we come in the concerts and we got to be on the list. And, and what's written on the list is Medec Plus One. You know, that's how we do. So that's what we're going to do. You can check that shit out on YouTube. A lot of interviews, a lot of interesting shit. It's going to get better and better. Check that out. Me, myself, Medec, and Say Me La Fami, you know, on the camera, swag. You know what I'm saying? That's what we're going to do. Check that shit out. Swag. Trapaholics, real trap shit. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, bass god, you came in, you came in, fucked all my bitches, okay, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs>